Um, hi. Do you want the best players on the game? Wait, do you want the best player on the game? Ben off Ronaldo, get D money, get all the D money. So you want the best players? Make sure to check out FIFACoin.com for cheap, reliable, 24-hour support. The safest place to get your coin. And make sure to use the code money at the checkout to get yourself a cheeky discount. So let's get into the video. Hi there. FIFA 17. Now, last week I did a video titled Soy Open Packs on FIFA 16. You guys seem to enjoy it. It got about 100,000 views. And you guys seem to enjoy going back on old FIFAs and you look back at the game and open some packs in there to kind of look back on just what the game was like, really. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of wish that the video didn't do that good because, well, <laughs> it involves you putting money into a game that is no longer a thing. But for the sake of content and for you guys that seem to enjoy the videos, I will do the best thing for everyone else and I and give more money to EA. I, I, I feel disgraceful. I'm so sorry. I am so, so sorry. But if you want to repay back the favor, smash the like button. If you're new here, subscribe if you like terrible content. And with that said, Oh. So let me know down below in the comments when you think of FIFA 17, what's the first thing you think of? Is it Marco Royce? I doubt it. Is it Martial? Probably. Is it that 89 human son? Yes, it definitely is. He absolutely bummed us all for the rest of the year. Or maybe it's the first year that we had the journey, which definitely wasn't a complete and utter waste of fucking time. And resources that could have been put into career mode or pro clubs. Definitely, definitely not a waste of time. But for me, for FIFA 17, I enjoyed it because it was my first year up at university. And, you know, Foot Champions also was the first release of it as well. So it completely changed the entire scene for how we viewed compared to the FIFA and and esports and it's kind of your choice if you think that's a good thing or not really for me even to this day i still think that esports and um the competitive side and for champions is a good thing i just want it to have an option for people that is not good enough to be in that kind of scene or number two just don't want to they have something else to also play and then was born fifa 17. so it is september 2016 me your boy the vizmeister was up at university in newcastle for his first year and i had a absolutely no idea what I was going to do with my life. My channel was pretty much going down the fucking drain. But then I realized skits. My channel started blowing up because of skits from FIFA 17. So I have a lot of love to this game because it kind of made my channel kind of what it is, which is kind of not serious, mostly taking the piss, whiny bastard channel really. I do complain a lot, which I know that you guys are all very, very, very aware of. Uh, the journey. Jesus Christ. Hey, my name is Double T Name. Happy days. Online, so we've got Seasons. I, how many games did I play a Seasons? The entire year. Did I play one? I played two games of Seasons the entire year. Two games. It was that far back, it can't even show me what the actual game was. <laughs> oh, no. There's 98 people still playing the goddamn head to head Seasons on FIFA 17. Warriors. So why are we on FIFA 17? We've got to have a look at the journey. Now, I believe I should have a Burnley version and also a... Looks like a Man United version for some reason. Wait, so my first save was on, was on the 20th of October, apparently. I played it next on the 30th of November. And then the next time I touched it was literally like a week or two before before FIFA 18. That's depressing. Journey slot 1. So this is my original one. So let's go back to 24th of October 2016 and see where we are at. It's FIFA 17. I can't go on FIFA 17 and not go on the journey. This is where it's born. Oh, so Burn yeah, I'm in Burnley. So I'm on the 27th of May. Oh, wait, I'm in the final of the FA Cup. So I did finish it. Yeah, yeah. I did finish the journey on FIFA 17. But I don't think I finished it on FIFA 18. Burnley is 7th in the Premier League. So we yeah, finished 7th. Wait, what? Wait. That's, that's, that's weird. That's weird. The reason why it's weird is because, of course, this was before Burnley actually finished 7th in real life. This is when Sunderland was still in the league. <laughs> that's how far back this is. This is when Sunderland was still relevant. That's weird how Burnley actually finished 7th. The, the year after I did this. 61 points. Training day, oh my god. This is why I hate the journey, because you spend more of your time in training, when honestly you could probably just skip it most of the time and it makes a, di it makes a real difference of how you do. George Boy, to be fair, that, this is the thing though, like when this was first out, it was new and you saw new screens and you saw new mecha mechanics, so like this right now, like this was amazing back in FIFA 17, like seeing like your players like in training, you know, the players for your club in real life, that was like insane. So 
training. But then you go into this and it's just like a normal training exercise. So it just gets boring. It just gets boring over time. That's the entire thing about the journey. Like it's just, you're forced to do things which you just don't really care about. So that's the main reason why I feel like the journey nowadays even still just isn't really loved that much to what it could do because it feels like you're having the same experiences to what you're, well, to what everyone else does. So me, you and your mates do the same route to the same exercises to the same training to the same games pretty much. And it's just not that exciting really when you see the same thing each time. But let's get to the big boy, Ultimate Team. Our record is actually not that bad. 730 wins and 424 losses. That's actually not bad. And you can't blame squad battles because that's, that's not even a thing. So that must be all pretty much online. That's not bad. How about my season's record though? My season's record is... I'll take it. I'll take 130 wins, 31 draws, 70 losses. I swear my possession back in FIFA 16 as well for seasons was also 39%. I found that proper odd that. 64% pass accuracy? That's not great. That's not great at all. Then Nichols a big boy, foot champions. Now, I don't think you can see anything on this, but of course it's the first year that we saw foot champions. And the last ever weekend league, there was only two people that got 13-0, which is these two guys, so fair play to them. Uh, but even still, like, this was back when there was 40 games played, and I think I finished weekend league like, all the way through. I want to say about like five times from the entire time from FIFA 17 to FIFA 18. Like those two years combined, I think I finished weekend league like five times in those entire two years. Like 40 games a weekend was just long. It was just so long, man. I love how Marshall 89 got 12 wins a weekend league as well. Ripping the chat to it. Does it show the rewards anywhere? No, it's not gonna show me. No, what well, I, I think back in these days it was actually tw 29 wins for Elite. I think for Elite 3 it was 29 wins, which out of 40 games, that's still a lot of games to win. That's the one thing which I can say that EF done correctly is the fact that they just made it a lot less like effort, and just you know, the, the less games is a massive benefit. SBCs though, the first time the SBCs were brought into FIFA, I'm not gonna lie, this was game changing. This was absolutely incredible. Like genuinely one of the best things that EA have ever done. Like SBC makes the game so much fun and so much more useful for players that don't just does, play the game that much. The question is, who is in my club? So we've got Ebra. Oh, that's a player. Okay, that's Lorne. That Torres. Oh my god, man. We got Inform Default, which, which I can sell. I think he's credible, right? He, I bought him for 26,000 coins and I only played five games with him. Um, Hamstick, and alas, Sandro. Who else is there? Joe Hart. He's just 84 with Joe Hart. And now he's at Burnley on the bench. Fucking peak times for him, man. Oh my god, no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. If you know, you know. This is quite possibly the most broken card I've ever seen in FIFA history. I mean, seriously, the most broken card. When you look at the stats, 79 positioning, get to fuck. This guy was broken, and if you played one game of FIFA 17, then I guarantee you probably face against him. He was in 90% of teams. Seriously, I swear I watched pro events. FIFA 17, professional events with the pros, everyone, and they're still playing Butland as a goalkeeper because he was that good. Words can't describe how much this guy just broke controllers. Rest in peace to you and to all your controllers, mate. And fortunately, we do have a lot of non-rare, so I may put whack these guys into these SPCs, you know? Already tells the fact that the menus just feel a lot, lot slower than when it does back in people. Like, look how, look how long it takes, man. Get in, we have, get in, we've got one pack. One gold upgrade pack. Oh boy, to be fair, I, I, I swear these were OP last year. So let's go and get this one done and let's go open some more packs. So, oh my god, this looks so weird. <laughs> this looks so weird. So, back in these days, if you was a walker, 83 is not bad. Good for SBCs. I can still say, use for SBCs. That's fantastic. Back in these days, if it's a walkout, then it would have a pause. So it will pause the screen, and then there'll be some flags that comes down. Hopefully, we may be able to pack a walkout so I can show you guys. But there are flares that dictate the, the rating of the card. So the bigger the flare, the higher rating it is. So that's that's proper cool. What I'm going to do, right, is that I'm going to go whack on some fuel points. On. So 40 quid's worth of fuel points just for you guys to open up in this video and see who we get. And just kind of look back at pack animation and see if they get any lucky, okay? The things I do for the sake content. If you guys have enjoyed and want me to pay back the favour, then go and smash that subscribe button as well and also smash the like as well at the same time. Because I think I've now put 2,200 fuel points onto FIFA 17. Yet again, it's stupid, but at least it's fun. Right? First things first, who is even in the team of the week? 
first things first, the current team of the week. Let's see who's in it, just in case. So, let's go see. So, we've got, boom. Ooh, okay, so we've got Messi, Aguero, De Bruyne. Yo, he was actually the last team of the week back in FIFA 16. So, that, uh, he is, uh, he's in the team of the week for FIFA 16 still now and FIFA 17. Interesting. Anyway, the points is on. The, the title says oh, I open packs of FIFA, FIFA 17. So with that said, let's open these packs. Now, this is going to be a throwback. If I actually had a walker, that'd be sick. But we got one rare in this pack. So each flirt means a rare player. So I can't even remember, like, what pack got. Honestly, I can't even remember opening that many packs this year. Like, for this FIFA, I can't even remember opening that, opening packs. Like, it's just not a thing that I just, I just did. I just didn't do it because, well... That happened, and um, you get one rare typically, and it usually is Carol. Carol. Ca Carol. Imagine your name being Carol, or your last name anyway. What's his first name? Lino Carol. What a fucking name that is. Yo, that kit was sick, you know. Keep on moving. I, mate, I just wanted to freeze. I just want to. Fuck it. I got a rare, but it looks like it's silver because I got a non rare gold. Have I got a non rare silver? Oh, yes, I do. Oh, yes, I really wanted you, didn't I? EA should just be nice and just give me, like, a walkout. Like, this could be an info mess. Give me a 97 Messi. That'd be sick. Imagine, like, EA no one's playing this game anymore. Got two rares this time. Oh my god! Thank you. Oh, I packed this guy so much this year. I remember him. I packed him so so often. And diabetes, and diabetes. People always come diabetes because we're funny. Diabetes is an off matter. Unless you get him in your packs, then it's really fucking funny. Rare! Who? This ain't going to plan. Same thing as FIFA 16. I'm gonna open a pack with full sound on and see what it sounds like. Here we go. Oh. That's nice. That's nice, that. I like it. I like the noise. That's the thing for EA. Like, the pack animations is so important. It's like a gathering machine to them. So, they're going to make sure it's like, your know, sounds good. It looks good. But, you know, I, I like it. When you get a walkout, like a blue with this animation, it looks sick. It looks so cool, man. I, don't, I, don't, I just wonder what their idea was, though. Like, why did they do this? Also, find it weird that imagine if it was like. Yo, know, hazard on the cover. Would it all be blue or something? Imagine that if it was like hazard or let's say it was Rashford because they did a vote for who would be the cover star. Imagine it was Rashford and everything was all like red. Like, I can't imagine the game being anything else but yellow. It's weird. It's the same stadium, the same time, everything the same thing. Oh, look at a big flare. Go on. Come. Is that Santi Gazzola? 86 red Santi Gazzola. Yo, got a big flare that time, baby. Are you even are you even on the market anymore? Yes, yeah, I got one of the fifteen thousand coins. You know what? I may just sell you just to see if you if you someone can buy you. That's something for like five k. Makes me think though. What's even like a walkout? What rating would it need for it to be a walkout? I need to check. What's a Mikatorian? Mikatorian was a walkout, but not Santi Gazzola. He was last rated. That is bullshit. That should have been a walkout. I feel like I've been cheated out of a walkout. This is bullshit. <laughs> I've been cheated, man. We have enough for one more pack. Can we end it off with a bank? Can we end it off with a walkout in my final FIFA 17 7.5k pack? It all comes down to this. Oh! I thought it was meant to be. It's not even fucking rare. We've got 8,000 items on the market. I'm curious to see what's even on there right now. So special. Let's see these cards. Oh my god. Yo, this card design was amazing. This was before EA had the licenses. Bronze in forms, like they were still a thing by then. Team of the season, Gomez, these guys are set. See, actually, I just saw Salah there. Salah, oh my god, man. Salah, that is sick, that. That's amazing to see him back there. I'm seeing, I'm seeing, though, no icons or no legends. Doom be a foot, birthday Doom be a man. Yo, this was released a long time ago, man. Surprise, I'm not seeing any. There you go, our first icon. We are fucking Jamie Carragher, which I don't think he was really ever used. Imagine if this guy was still in the game now. Imagine, like, this guy was the real deal back in these days, man. Back in FIFA 14, 15, 16, Vier as well. Michael King got a Burnley from the market. I respect that. Yo, guys, that was me playing FIFA 17. Have a look back in everything, going through everything, opening packs. So, hope you guys have enjoyed. And make sure to let me know down below in the comments if you guys want me to do this on FIFA 15 or FIFA 18. Why not? I mean, FIFA, FIFA 18 feels like a, such a long time ago, but hey, I'll do it if you guys want me to. My name is Vizar. See you next time.
eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby.